Hey, what's up guys? This is Black Sheep 217 for the cardboard review and in front of me I have the new Pinnacle Baseball. On the front you can see Steven Strasberg and uh, the traditional Pinnacle sort of logo. 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack, so it's going to be a longer rip I feel. This is another one of Panini's baseball products. Panini's been doing a lot of really cool baseball stuff recently. They're bringing stuff back. Pinnacle was one of the most, I don't know, it was a beloved brand. I could say that. It was definitely beloved um, by the collectors back in the day. Uh, people chasing Team Pinnacle and that kind of stuff. But very shiny box. Lots and lots of packs. Let's just take them out. And get to opening. I mean... Look at all that. That's a lot of packs. It does say eight cards per pack, and it is hobby. So obviously, I'm assuming there's going to be retail versions of this. Let's go ahead and take a look at Pinnacle. Brett Anderson is my first base card, and it is all black. Black borders, black everything. Pretty cool. Again, no logos on it. No logos. Because uh, Panini does not have the license. Michael Bourne, and uh, let's just go through some rookie cards, Carlos Truenfell, Jake Odorizzi, I'm not going to go through everybody, but just some, um, and then we looks like, it looks like we have a Team 2020 Jerickson Profar, insert card, Jason Hayward, he just got plunked in the head. Estrubal, Cabrera, and J.D. Martinez. Okay, so go through the rest of the packs pretty quickly. I'm going to do a full in-depth review of the cards. Oh, there's the back, by the way. Um, on my website, the Cardboard Review, and again, giving away some of the cards from this break. All right, looks like we have a Pablo Sandoval Nufex card. You can see that it is shinier than the rest. Um... I don't see anything that distinguishes it other than the the new facts. And it looks like we have a single of Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball. Clear vision. And I heard that these are tiered. Let me get decoy. These are actually tiered so that if you get like a better achievement, it's going to be more rare. So a single probably the easiest one to get. But there you go, Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball getting the single. Very nice looking. I opened Elite Football recently and uh, Panini's been doing really a nice job with the foil cards. They look great. They look really good. Very impressed with the way the cards look. So let's continue on. Another acetate. Panini's doing a lot of acetate stuff. Swing for the Fences, Adrian Beltre. Again, acetate. Very cool. Acetate was, I think, a big thing in the 90s, and so I think it makes a lot of whole, it makes a whole lot of sense to have it here in um, Pinnacle. Cal Ripken Jr. Yasiel Puig. Very hot. And then what's this? Fred McGriff awaiting the call. Now, some of these cards do look like they are missing something, like, for example, this card... You don't see any logos. It looks a little bit plain to me. But, you know, that's what Panini kind of has to do, unfortunately, without the Major League license. All right. So let's continue on here. One thing I don't like is that the cards are every which way. Awaiting the call. This time it's die cut. Die cut. Yvonne Rodriguez. Doesn't look like it's numbered. Slugfest of Jay Bruce. And this is, you can see, it's really cool. We got the Nufex foiling going on, sort of rainbow, rainbowed out. Okay, and the rest here. All right. Adam Jones right on the front. And our acetate card is Jim Johnson. Pinnacle of Success. Acetate, Justin Verlander, and there's a Derek Jeter of note. All 
All right, next card. Looks like we have Jared Weaver. Again, another pinnacle of success. This time it's uh, acetate. Again, and first autograph, Lucas Duda. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but pinnacle autographs. Clean design. Nice place for the autograph. I, I wouldn't say it's super outstanding, but it's nice. I am expecting a little bit more from these though. Let's so let's always we had with Josh Reddick. Again, new fex card. Looks like a base new fex. And awaiting the call, Alan Trammell. Alan Trammell, very old school. You are getting a mix that we saw Don Mattingly in there. Big mix of old and new. Wow, I used to love these cards back in the day. This is Justin Verlander. These came out of Select before. It looks like it, yeah, the Aces cards. This came out of Select before, but resembles sort of a playing card. And then Team Pinnacle, George Brett. George Brett, awesome baseball player. And on the back, Miguel Cabrera. Those Team Pinnacle cards used to be... Uh, Chris Davis, doing really well this year. Um, those Team Pinnacle cards used to be super hard to get. Like maybe 1 in 90 packs or something. I remember I was I was always, always, always trying to get those cards. Junior, Crane Griffey Jr. Let's see. Ooh, looks like we have a double, Josh Hamilton. A little bit hard to see. There we go, double. So maybe it's a little bit more rare. Yin Chen, Prince Fielder, Lance Berkman. Okay. Again, just lots and lots of cards. Here's another double. Matt Holiday. I'm not going to put the acetate up. It's a double. All right. And then we have another swing. Swing for the fences. Matt Kemp from the Dodgers. Acetate card. So far, only just one hit. I wonder how many there are. I didn't look at the box to see. Buster Posey, San Francisco Giant, and a slugfest of Ryan Braun. Not doing really well this, <laughs> in terms of media and all that. Bo Jackson. He is just always, he's been getting a lot of trouble. Lots and lots of trouble. Okay, Bryce Harper, Pinnacle of Success. Acetate. It's a long break, but a fun one. And, you know, I will be taking my time to look through these later. Looks like an artist proof here. Chase Utley. I don't think these are numbered, but artist proofs used to be one per box. And I'm wondering if that's the same with these. They're continuing the tradition. Artist, artist proof being one per box. I don't know. Looks like another autograph. Derek Holland. Pinnacle autographs. Same design as the other one. And then position powers Alex Rios. Interesting. It looks like almost one of those game cards. Like a sweepstakes card. It didn't look, it didn't look like a regular card, but that was an insert. Okay. Another one of those position position powers. Albert Pujols. Okay. Try to go a little faster. Still got quite a few packs to go. Randy Johnson awaiting the call. And the, the rest are base. We still have a few packs to go here. Let's see. I'm sort of like twisting and turning the cards. Team 2020, Steven Strasburg. We've seen one of those before. Ken Griffey Jr. awaiting the call. And the rest are base. Chipper Jones. This is a cool one. 
essence of the game. We got a lot of those stars in the back on the acetate. It's cool. Team Pinnacle, Cal Ripken Jr. And on the back, Derek Jeter. It's a nice one. Two clean players. Fan favorites for sure. All right, next up we have Complete Game, Nolan Ryan. I wonder how much, uh, how rare that one is. Complete Game. I don't know. Complete Game, not super hard, but not as common as before having a complete game as a pitcher. Team 2020, Dylan Bundy. And our last pack, this long break, AJ Ramos, rookie card, Jose Bautista, behind the numbers. And there you have it. So, only two hits, actually. They were two autograph cards. Let's see if I can fish those out. Let's see, I got a ton of base. Uh, just go through some of the cards I've got. Nolan Ryan, maybe the complete game. That's pretty cool. Team Pinnacle, Ripken, Jeter, Jones, Essence of the Game. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to go through every little insert. Here's one. Derek Holland, Autograph. Chase Utley, Artist Proof. Bryce Harper, Pinnacles of Success. The Matt Holiday Double. Josh Hamilton, Double. George Brett, Team Pinnacle, Justin Verlander, Aces, Lucas Duda, maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, but Auto. see if there was anything else of note, Don Mattingly, Single. So there you have it, I'm going to actually review this down below, check out the review, um, tell me what you thought of Pinnacle this year, and I will be giving a card away from this break, so watch for that, thanks for... Watching, I'll see you next time.